to back with Jilly as we go through some of those comprehensive mobility and technical drills he can do to improve his range of motion while decompressing all the impact he gets in preparation for training for a tournament as intensive as the one he's going to be in the WKA National Muay Thai Championships taking place right here in Edmonton. Now we're looking at a very popular uh, workout sequence that we've been kind of seeing in the last little bit which is our shin box. Now shin box is great because what it does is it puts us in that end range of motion that a lot of us actually lack and from this particular position we are not loaded in a way that's impactful that can cause inflammation and we are more or less sequencing a variety of exercises to earn in range of motion. You can see right now after he's doing his grooving on that front leg capsule with his torso now what he's doing is working in range of motion for internal rotation in that position and then in range of motion in external. He's going to be able to produce this better by driving more external bias into the legs on the ground, particularly the front leg. Out of this particular position, he's going to be able to control his hip mobility more or less at the top end range of a kick, the knee, the rotation for a punch. And he's learning how to use the obliques and the right muscle groups out of this profile because it's such an extreme position. So doing an exercise such as this is great for warming up those areas to get into those said kicks and punches or decompressing those areas and allowing them to recover. He had some pretty hard training sessions the other night. So we're using this as the same type of benefit. Just different I guess, waves, if you will. For that. Remember any of the other ones? Do the rotation with your torso. Arms are out. You rotate your torso. Dig both your legs in the ground. Remember I rotated? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and just rotate your torso. Sit up taller if you can. Again, looking at the ability to stay out of these extreme positions and having control will make or break the tissue quality or the tissue, I guess, readiness when you're in these aggressive position that you more or less just produce when you're committing to sport or committing to movement. So again, looking at these movements are huge for decompressing your body, making your body recover, and to stay strong and stable in these crazy positions you more or less end up in as a fighter, as an athlete. Now let's move into that last one, which is the kick out. We pulled the leg in and we kicked it out. And this more or less looks like your teeth or looks like a starting component to a kick. What we're looking for is the ability to build intentional tension out of the leg that's planted. So he's learning how to more or less articulate proper hip rotation and then engage proper oblique activation as he extends out. But again, he's not doing it under impact. Same type of idea, mimicking the same type of game-like situation but with less impact and in a shorter lever which allows us to control those movements a little bit more and he's doing a lot slower. Excellent work last one.